Well, this morning, a judge has ruled that a lawsuit challenging the city of Virginia Beach over the 10 to 1 voting system will now go to trial. And this story starts a year ago when the city voted to adopt the system. And then in January of this year, the lawsuit was filed saying the new system takes away voters' rights. In May, a judge denied an injunction that would prevent the new voting system from being used. And that brings us to now with a trial set to take place in the future. We turn now to Casey Baylor, who joins us live this morning. Casey, we have the time timeline, but walk us through what this really means for Virginia Beach residents. Ashley, right now, a judge says the 2024 election can move forward using the 10 to 1 system. Now, that 10 to 1 system means residents can only vote for candidates in their own district rather than citywide. But this lawsuit claims that the city took away the voters' rights using this new system. Now, the lawsuit was filed by a group that includes former city councilman Linwood Branch. Plaintiffs in the in the case allege the city eliminated three at large seats that were established by a city charter and the case says uh, the lawsuit I should say says the city is obligated by charter to follow a different voting system. Now in response to the judge's order Virginia Beach deputy city attorney told 13 news now the city is encouraged that the court dismiss the entirety of the plaintiff's challenge to the 2022 election and deny the plaintiff's request to enjoin the 2024 election. Election. We look forward to presenting additional evidence at trial as to why the Virginia Voting Rights Act compelled the city to adopt the 10 to 1 system. Now, this all comes after a previous lawsuit alleged the city's at large system disadvantaged minorities, and a federal judge sided with that agreement, calling the at large system illegal. But when it comes to this lawsuit against the 10 to 1 system, a trial date has not been set. We're live in Virginia Beach. I'm Casey Baylor for 13 News Now. Okay, Casey, thank you.